What's the main thesis behind Marx's writings about um, the Jewish people, nation, Judaism? Well, all right. So, so do, do we have five hours, 10 or more? Um, as, much, as much as you need. This is a... Yeah. All right. I, and I, I think I, here, I think we really see a problem with the way it's interpreted because people, um, when they read some of Marx's, particularly, well, particularly his essay on the Jewish question, but also the, the many, many casual, rather hostile anti-Semitic remarks in his correspondence, people sort of, you know, say, well, uh, Marx sounds like a Nazi or like a, a Stalinist bigot. Uh, he's a self-hating Jew. Uh, and there's a whole, and what I think what we're seeing is we're, we're, we're reading Marx's ideas through the lens of the 20th century totalitarianism. Uh, through the racialized fascism, the Holocaust, um, Stalin's increasingly crazed anti-Semitism. Um, and it's much more helpful to go back to the 19th century and to find it in this context. Um, and so what I'd say about um, the way Marx looked at Jews and Judaism uh, Marx was very well aware, of course, hardly would deny his Jewish descent. Um, indeed, with his Dutch uncle, Leon Phillips, he wrote a bunch of sort of ironic, these letters, very ironic comments about being Jewish, a lot like the way another uh, prominent um, Jew become Protestant of the 19th century, Benjamin Disraeli, looked at his own uh, Jewish heritage. Um, Marx, and like his contemporaries, tended to see being Jewish as a cultural and religious affiliation. And if you dropped it, because after all, baptized at the age of five, um, very much Protestant, um, and then an atheist, as the young Hegelians were all Protestants who became atheists, um, wasn't necessarily all that Jewish. Um, this is how Marx himself looked at Jews and there's actually a wonderful example, I think, um, from a, a journey Marx took in 1875. Um, his health was not good, and he did his the big 19th century thing. He went to take the waters at a spa in Karlsbad, um, today Karlovy Vary in, in, in mm -hmm. Czech, the Czech Republic. Um, and so he's traveling by train from London, um, and in his train compartment, he meets this, uh, this Jewish businessman um, from Berlin, Marx and his correspondence is actually scathing about this guy and frankly sort of anti-Semitic terms. He's a crook, he's a chiseler, his German is like very Yiddish inflected. Um, he's like disgusting, he really like uh, despises him. Um, before going, when he reaches the continent, before going on to um, Karlsbad, he makes a stop in Frankfurt and he has a conference with a man named Leopold Zunemann who was the editor of Germany's left, leading left-wing newspaper, the Frankfurter Zeitung. Uh, Marx had big, really liked, Marx, who was an experienced journalist, was very impressed with Zahnemann and his newspaper, um, praised its commercial and financial reporting. Um, Zahnemann was a leftist and Marx and Zahnemann talked about how the Democrats and the socialists in Germany could cooperate. Um, Marx described Zahnemann as a true man of the world. Of course, Zahnemann was Jewish. Uh, and uh, but we see here Marx's take on what it means to be a, what it, the net Marx's take on this um, a Jew who like Sonnenberg is part of a broader European culture, um, who's cosmopolitan, um, articulate, um, can be capitalist um, and have good uh, good coverage of the stock exchange in his newspaper. Uh, that's okay. Um, Jews who are sort of stuck in their um, what shall I say, their dialect, their narrow view of the world. Uh, Marx despised that sort of Jew. I think he understood himself as being like Zunman of the first kind. Um, I would say that's how Marx looked at Jews. And when we find in his correspondence hostile attitudes towards hostile remarks about Jews, particularly about his pupil and rival, Ferdinand LaSalle, the German labor leader, um, Marx and Engels just had all these really nasty comments about him. Um, it's a barren, it's a, all this stuff. Um, it, he was seeing him in those terms as narrow and petty and um, didn't like that. Um, 
this is actually a, a fairly broad idea among Marx's contemporaries. The famous poet Heinrich Heine uh, described being baptized as the entry ticket into European society as leaving behind a narrow provincial Jewish world for a broader European intellectual one. Um, and I think that would be how Marx regarded um, Judaism. 